The Afghan president, during an international aid conference in Tokyo on Wednesday, appealed to the international community to keep supporting his efforts to disarm powerful private armies that challenge his authority and peace in Afghanistan. The talks mainly focused on the disarmament of over 1,800 militia groups still intact around the country. Japan's foreign minister, Mr. Taro Aso, during his welcoming remarks, welcomed President Karzai before leaving shortly to deal with North Korea's missile launches. The future of Afghanistan is in the hands of its people. Led by strong leadership of President Karzai, we have full confidence that the Afghan people will continue to show a deepened sense of ownership and move forward. While boasting the achievement of his government, such as the increase in children attending schools across the country, he emphasized his plan to develop the security sector and focus on the challenges ahead while working towards a stable, democratic and prosperous Afghanistan. With your help, we aspire to stand on our own feet to determine our own destiny and live peacefully with the world as a member of the family of nations. We realize that there are many challenges and obstacles to overcome before we can realize our vision. But we are determined to keep the course that we have chosen. We are confident that our friends in the international community share our vision and will continue to support us to achieve our visions. Thank you very much. Since the last aid conference in 2003, the Afghan government has disarmed and demobilized over 63,000 former combatants. With the help of the international community, which paid 140 million US dollars towards a project, it decommissioned around 259 units.